I want to show you how you can use Excel to do a Monte Carlo simulation of cumulative stock returns. So here I'm going to focus on it being one week, but you could do it for a month or a year, etc. So what do I need? I need some information about the daily return. So here I have the average or the mean daily return for the S&P 500, 0.0327% and a standard deviation of 0.9750%. Now, I just looked these up, but you could just as easily download data from, let's say, Yahoo Finance and calculate these numbers yourself. So we want these returns each day to be random. So in this case, I'm going to use a function called norm inverse, and I want this to be random. So it asks you for a probability, but I want that number to keep changing so that you get a different value for Monday um, in every replication that we do. So I'm going to use a function called rand, open parenthesis, close parenthesis, and what that's going to do is generate a random number between 0 and 1, which is a probability. So each time we're going to get a different value. I also have to put in the mean, and I'm going to hit the F4 key to lock that cell, and I'm going to put in the standard deviation, and I'm going to hit the F4 key again to lock that cell, because I want to be able to copy this down. And I want to show you that this is in fact random. So we can go to formulas, and this key here, I can hit this. Now, you can use the F9 key, but the software I'm using to record this um, video with locks up the F key for F9 key for some function and therefore I have to use this button here but you can see it's different each time so let's copy this down and we get different random returns for each day what we're really interested in is the cumulative return right so at the end of the week how we how will we have done right we've gotten a certain return on Monday and then you know compounds on Tuesday and Wednesday and Thursday and Friday so for Monday, the cumulative return is just Monday's return. But for Tuesday, it's going to be 1 plus Monday's return times 1 plus Tuesday's return minus 1. And I'm just going to copy that down. So I have these different um, returns here and this is the cumulative return this is what we care about at the end of the week how much did we earn right and you can see it changes you know you can have a fairly large positive return remember this is for a week so up one percent for a week is pretty significant but you can also have a really bad week down two percent for the week now we don't want to just do this once we want to do this many many times so what we want to do is we want to replicate this a bunch of times. So I'm going to do a bunch of replications. I'm going to choose to do a thousand replications, but you know, you could do 10,000 replications if you wanted to. That's quite common. So I'm going to put a one in here for my first replication, and I want to fill this table with a thousand numbers. So I could put two here and sort of copy it down, but the easy way to fill it is underneath that big sigma sign is this, which is fill. This is a series. This is going to be a column and we our step value, so we want to increase it by ones and we're going to go to 1000. So now let's do the replication. What are we interested? We're only interested in this number here. Friday's cumulative return. Okay, that's a really good week up, you know, more than three and a half percent for a week. How do we do that? Let's highlight this cell. And actually, let me tell you how we'll do it and where you can get this. We're going to use the what if analysis in the data table. If you don't happen to see this here, you can actually um, install it into Excel by going to File, Options, Add-ins. Here, down here it says Excel Add-ins. Hit Go. 
and then make sure the analysis tool pack and the solver add-in are clicked. I don't actually remember which one of those adds to this, but these are very useful tools, so you might as well just click them both on and then click OK. All right, so once that's installed, I'm going to highlight these two, and then I'm going to cover the whole um, thousand replication table I have here. So I'm going to hit Control, Shift, and the down arrow key. And again, I'm going to go to the What If Analysis, Data Table. You leave the row input blank. For the cell input, just pick a blank cell. You need a blank cell because Excel needs a cell to work in to do its calculation. Hit OK, and it fills my table. So let me just format these numbers here. I'm going to go down. I'm going to say that this is a percentage. And then I'm going to just expand it a little bit. Maybe another one. OK, so now we can get some descriptive statistics here. Let's see average here. Average is going to be, and I, again, I'm going to use Control Shift Down Arrow key, and I get the average return for the week. I can get the standard deviation, and there's several standard deviations here. Dot P is for the population standard deviation, dot S is for the sample. If you don't put anything in, that's also a sam sample standard deviation. The difference is, is that when it calculates the variance, in a population it divides by n, in a sample it divides by n minus 1. Now, I have a thousand observations here, so it's not going to make much of a difference either way. And if you did 10,000 observations, uh, it would, you know, it would be even less noticeable or less significant. But let's just use this so we get the sample standard deviation. Again, I'm going to highlight this, Control Shift Down Arrow key, close the parenthesis, and then I get this sample standard deviation, which I can put in percentage terms because that, in fact, is what it is. And then let me do a couple of other things. Let's figure out the probability that we're greater than for example, two percent. So I'm going to use the function count if, count if this range, control shift down arrow key, comma, and then I have to put in the criteria. So hopefully I'll put this in correctly, is greater than 0 0.02, again, the quote again, and then I'm going to close the parenthesis. I tried doing it with 2%. It didn't seem to work. It seems that you're going to have to put in 0 0.02. And what did I do wrong? I wanted to div divide it. There's 186 times that happened. I want to divide it by the number of observations so that I actually get the percentage of times where better or 2% um, or greater. So again, let me just format this. And I could expand the decimal places if I wanted. And let me do it for 5% as well. So equals count if, again, this range here, comma, quote, greater than 0 0.05, close the quote. And again, I forgot to divide by 1,000 to get a percentage. And let me make that a percentage and expand the number of decimal places. So you can see that 19% of the time, you're getting um, a return of greater than 2% for the week. Uh, about 1.4% of the time, you're getting a return greater than 5%. And again, we can, we'll see that when we change these numbers here, right, with the F9 key or this key, it does change. They stay pretty close, right? But it does change over time. So if I did 10,000 replications, these would probably change even less. So it looks like, you know, about 
20% of the time, you're going to, you can expect to have a return, a cumulative return for the week greater than, or around 20%. I'm sorry, so greater than 2%, about 20% of the time. All right, so this is a sort of a great way to get a better understanding of stocks and add some randomness by using this Monte Carlo simulation uh, through the data table that's available in um, Excel.